Hello and welcome back to Love My Poland. As you can see, we are in the dead of winter right now. It's minus five degrees outside. It's lightly snowing. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video. In other words, it's a beautiful winter day here in Poland and it's time for the next part in the series of top surprises of living in Poland. Today, we're gonna to talk all about one thing, Polish people. The three surprises surprise me about Polish people. What are the attributes of Polish people in different regards? So today, let's get started with number 10 in the list of top surprises. Number 10 on the list to get started today is Poles' hunger for travel. If you know just that much about Polish history, this will not surprise you at all. Polish people love to travel, and boy, do they travel. Many of my friends and family here save up big time all year long to make their holidays really special. Most people travel to warmer countries like Greece, Turkey, Croatia, Spain, and one of my personal favorites, Italy. There is travel agency after travel agency offering good last minute deals to many of these destinations. But what surprises me more are Poles who travel to my country, the USA, for the first time. They fly into New York City. I can count 10, 12 people right now who have done this. They rent a car, they rent a camper van or an RV, and they literally drive from New York to LA, seeing as much as they can within just a few days, sometimes just a week. It's incredible. I can just, I just can't imagine. I, I know people in America who've never done that. They've seen one, two, three states. I've seen a lot of states, but over 20 something years living in the USA, but they just knock it out in one trip. It's really incredible. So I think that if you move to Poland, if you come here, you're going to be, I think, taken back a little bit with how much love there is for travel in this country. And Poles, don't change it. It's a great thing. Number 11, hunger for foreign language, especially the English language. I was amazed back in 1999 how many young people could effectively speak English here. I'm in the English education business and there is no shortage of desire for Poles to learn English throughout this country. It's especially evident with the kids and teenagers who attend our school. The parents demand the best education and help us to keep that level high. With every new student that comes in, I ask them the question, regardless of how old they are, why do you want to learn English? It always comes down to two things. They know their future demands English education. They have to speak English. They're in the European Union. This is one of the main languages in the European Union, and it's just clear. People learn it. I don't know. It's hard for me to find people who don't care about learning English nowadays, so that's a great thing. And going back to these young people, I'm really amazed at how they pick up English. I always ask them, you have a pretty good English base. How did you do that? Some of my teenagers, especially the boys, will say role-playing games. You know, you put the headphones on, the microphone, you talk to people all over the world. That's a really good way to do it. A lot of them watch it from friends or just TV, movies, etc. It's just incredible. All these years I've been here and I struggle mightily with the Polish language, so I have a lot of respect for you Polish people who try to pick up the English language. Keep going, keep going, don't give up, learn that language, I love it. Number 12, Polish people are highly resourceful. There's a saying in Poland, Polak potrafi. Polak potrafi translates to Poles can do it or Poles can manage to do anything. And it kind of implies they never give up, they have this I can do it mentality, I'll always find a way to get to my destination. And again, that comes back from the history. I want to give you two examples today that really stood out to me over the years that just make Polish people the great people that they are. Number one, I started a baseball team back in the year 2000. After about a year living in Poland, I got together with a group of guys and we threw the ball around and we decided to kind of play games. And I brought for me from the USA something called an Incrediball. An Incrediball was a cloth covered kind of baseball that can be used indoor, outdoor, doesn't matter. I had only a few of them, and one ball got lost. It was deep into somebody else's property, in their bushes. You know, in America, we would never think about jumping that fence, especially at the age I was, and going to get that ball. But we couldn't find it. And one of the players, he spent, I'm not kidding, three or four hours searching for that one incredible ball. I went home already. I was already cooking dinner. He calls me, he said, I got your ball. He didn't give up. Three or four hours looking for that ball, I was completely amazed. That will always stay in my mind, I think, till the day I die. And you know who you are, Tomek. That story is about you. The second example has to do with my father-in-law. Years and years back, I needed a small tack hammer for a project I was working on. I didn't have one. I just had a big old hammer in my garage, and 
I told my father-in-law, well, I'll just go 20 kilometers into Częstochowa and pick up a new hammer. And he looked at me and gave me that Polish gesture like, are you crazy? Are you stupid? You're going to go drive, pay money, and then buy a new hammer? We'll make a hammer. Cocked my head this way. I said, we're going to make a hammer? Of course we're going to make a hammer. Look at all the wood we have out in the forest. He walks into the forest, cuts off a branch, whittles it down to the perfect hammer handle size, goes through a rusty pile of metal that he had in the garage, and he finds the perfect metal piece. He sands that down somehow with some machine to the perfect fit, puts that handle into the hammer head, and to this day, years and years later, I have that very hammer. I still use it. It's in my tool collection. This would never happen in the USA, at least not, not in the area where I live in the USA. I love this hammer. This hammer is so special to me. I will keep it forever. <laughs> a homemade hammer. Didn't have to drive to the city that day to get it. This is Polish people. This is what I love about you. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining to you. If you have not become a subscriber yet and you would love to be a subscriber and watch more of what I have to say about this country, go ahead and click that button so you can become a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. More to come. Have a great day.